Hello guys and welcome to a new video and welcome to a new episode of Storytime with Pat. Today we'll talk about the history of the Jackson Guitar Company. It all started way back in the early 70s when Wayne Chavel was working at the Fender's Guitar Factory. After working there for three years and getting a lot of requests for modifications and hot rodding, he decided to open up his own guitar shop, which he named Chavel's Guitar Repair. And there he would provide services such as repairs, custom finishes and upgraded parts. Shortly after, Grover Jackson bought in as a partner and they decided to start building their own guitars based on the very popular and very easily modifiable Fender Stratocaster. And thus the Super Strat was born. But in 1980 something would happen that would change the fate of the guitar company forever. But before we get to that, make sure you drop me a like, drop me a comment in the comment section down below and don't forget to subscribe to this channel like a man if you haven't yet. And if you want to become a part of the team and support the channel, just hit the join button down there. You can really help the channel out by contributing a small contribution a month, even if it is as much as a cup of coffee. It'll be well appreciated. On with the show. Okay, so like I said before, in 1980, something would happen that would change the fate of the guitar company forever. In 1980, Grover Jackson would meet Rodney Rhodes, an up-and-coming guitar player who was known for his work on Quiet Riot, but more importantly, for being Black Sabbath's ex-vocalist Ozzy Osbourne's new flashy guitar player. So Grover and Randy started working on a new V-shaped guitar to complement the polka dot V-shaped guitar he already had. And they worked on a first prototype, but it was discarded by Randy because it wasn't sharp enough. He wanted really sharp angles and more of an extreme look. So they came up with the white Jackson we've all seen. And it was named the Concord after Randy Rose fell in love with the plane that took him back home after his first European tour with Ozzy Osbourne. It was a neck through body construction with an offset V shape and a new awesome looking headstock. It was so radical and different from the strats Charvel was pumping out that he decided to put this one out under a different brand name and he decided to use his own last name this time around. And that was the first Jackson ever made. Now still a prototype, that guitar was actually discarded in favor of a newer version that included a lot of upgrades and features suggested by Randy Rhodes himself. This new guitar is what is now known as the Randy Rhodes one. Sadly, Randy Rhodes passed away on March 19th, 1982. And even though there's a few pictures of him playing this model, he didn't make it to see the guitar's launch and subsequent production. But ever since then, Jackson has been praised as a top tier quality guitar and the weapon of choice of many metalheads, including myself. With original guitar designs with metal performance in mind, Jackson's popularity exploded in the 80s with legendary models like the King V, the Soloist, its Bolton version, the Dinky, the Kelly, and then it exploded again in the 90s with the introduction of the PC1, Phil Collin guitar signature, and of course, the Jackson Warrior. Nowadays, Jackson continues to innovate. While maintaining their classic models in the roster, they managed to come up with new signature models like the Chris Broderick guitar, which I've owned, and I can tell you it's an absolute top-notch guitar, and the Phil Demo, Mark Morton, and Adrian Smith signature models, and many more. Jackson's custom shop is to this day the longest operating custom shop in the US, with many of the original staff members still hard at work after over 35 years. That's awesome. Great job, Jackson. Anyway, so I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop me a like if you did. Please drop me a comment in the comment section down below and tell me how you feel about this story and Jackson guitars. And also, have you ever played a Charvel guitar? I'd be interested to know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel like a man if you haven't yet. And if you can, please hit that join button down there and become a member of the channel. By paying a very small membership fee, you can really help the channel grow. I'll see you guys next time. Pat out. Mel on, dudes.